एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ एनाटॉमी हम कर रहे हैं स्नेल से अपर लिम एंड डिटेल्ड वीडियोस अबाउट अपर लिम फ्रॉम बीडी चौरासिया आर आल्सो अवेलेबल और उसका लिंक मैं अपने डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे दूंगा बट टुडे फ्रॉम स्नेल अपर लिम एंड द टॉपिक टुडे विल बी फोर आर्म एंड फोर फोर आर्म इज दिस रीजन बिलो द क्यूबिटल फोसा सो इफ दिस इज योर आर्म दिस इज योर क्यूबिटल फोसा देन द नेक्स्ट बिट इज द फोर आर्म व्हिच लीड्स टू द रिस्ट एंड देन टू द हैंड सो दैट पोर्शन here this is the forearm okay it's also called the lower arm or the antebrachium and obviously when we start a region the first thing we discuss is the osseofacial compartments so in the forearm we know we have done the osteology we know that there are two different bones one is radius and one is ulna so this is the forearm cut in the center and then being looked on this coronal plane so you notice two bones here one is radius one is ulna the bigger triangle and a smaller triangle and these two bones are also connected to each other with a few septa so basically ye aap jo puri agar diagram देखें तो इसमें जो सबसे आउटर मोस्टली ब्लैक आपको लेयर नजर आ रही है स्किन and then there will be subcutaneous fascia and then the green bit is the deep fascia so there is a deep fascia and then there are so many muscles in there so for example that's a muscle this is the extens extensor uh, carpi ulnaris there are flexor muscles on the front side how would i know which one is the front side which one is the back side the bones are close to the dorsal side so that has to be the back side and this is the front side and in the front side you see a lot of flexor muscles so for example we have flexor pollicis longus we have flexor digitorum profundus we have flexor digitorum superficialis because it's superficially present we have flexor carpi radialis and with these muscles we obviously have blood supply arteries and uh, the veins and also the accompanying nerve so that kind of thing is known as the osseofacial compartment so that's what uh, Uh, we are now going to discuss the forearm is enclosed in the sheath of deep fascia which is attached to the periosteum of the posterior subcutaneous border of ulna um so this is the deep fascia here so if you look here this is the deep fascia and it is kind of attached here if you see this is attached to the posterior border of which bone ulna now when you are looking at the section you have to identify ki hum kaun si bone dekh rahe hain so that's a very important identification point ki jo ulna hai या यूं कह लें कि जो बोन डीप फेशिया के साथ टच कर रही है दैट हैज टू बी अलना एंड दी अदर वन हैज टू बी द रेडियस सो दैट हैज टू बी देन द लेटरल साइड ऑफ द इमेज एंड दैट हैज टू बी द मीडियल साइड ऑफ द इमेज सो यू आइडेंटिफाई व्हाट साइड यू आर लुकिंग एट एंड बाय द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द बैक इनका डिस्टेंस कम होता है बोन्स का सो दिस हैज टू बी द एक्सटेंसर सरफेस एंड दिस हैज टू बी द फ्लेक्सर सरफेस या आप ये कह लीजिए कि दिस हैज to be the ventral side and this has to be the dorsal side ya aap ye keh lijiye ki this has to be the anterior side and this has to be the posterior all mean the same thing different terminologies okay but you first have to identify one point aur us ek point se fir aap baat aage badhayenge aur aap ye baat samajhne ki koshish karenge ki now where are we in the diagram hum actually is diagram mein kis jagah pe stand karte hain medial side kaun sa hai lateral side kaun sa hai anterior side kaun sa hai posterior side kaun sa hai okay so that's a very important point then we uh, have an interosseous membrane it's a strong ligamentous band that unites the shaft of the radius and ulna and it also provide additional surface area for the attachment of the muscle so if you look at radius and ulna the two bones are connected with each other by an interosseous membrane or in interosseous membrane ke sath aur agar isko longitudinally hum dekhe to jaise ek bone ye hogi ek bone ye hogi aur inke beech mein ek ligamentous fibrous band hoga this is what we call antrocious membrane iske aage anterior compartment hoga iske piche posterior compartment hoga so this will be the anterior compartment this is the posterior compartment okay now this wrapping sheet of deep fascia together with the antrocious membrane and the fibrous intramuscular septa divide the forearm into three osseofacial compartments do to maine aapko already batai di hai anterior compartment and the posterior compartment and then there is a little lateral compartment as well aur fir har compartment mein apne muscles hain nerves hain aur arteries hain so that is very very important okay so ye aapko dekhen lateral compartment bhi there is lateral compartment anterior compartment and posterior compartment okay now when you look at the table and that table actually tells you everything about the compartmentalization of the upper limb so if we talk about for example the anterior compartment uh, what are the muscles which are associated with anterior compartment so the muscles include there is a superficial group then there is a deep group and then the muscle names are written there what i suggest 
that you keep on uh, reading these names and follow them on the diagram so for example if you look at the superficial group uh, of the anterior compartment the first muscle written here is pronator teres so go back to the diagram identify where is pronator teres so that is the muscle so this is something that you have to do in order to make a map in your mind so you will have to do this back and forth next muscle for example is flexor carpi radialis go back in there and identify where is flexor this is flexor carpi radius and you can see these are superficial muscles so that is superficial that is superficial this would be superficial as well so looking at this diagram now go back into the table and try to trace it back so flexor digitorum superficialis it will be in the superficial group flexor digitorum superficial actually they label it as intermediate group so because it starts superficially and then it's a little bit deeper not too deep then in the deep group we have flexor digitorum profundus pollicis longus and pronator so these will be the uh, deeper muscles right so this is a very nice table what is the um, nerve supply of the anterior compartment of the forearm primarily it is the uh, median nerve and branches of the ulnar nerve and if you talk about the blood supply radial and the ulnar artery okay and accompanying veins lateral compartment mein isi tarah muscles pata hone chahiye nerve pata hone chahiye and arteries pata hone chahiye same is true for the posterior compartment which is also called extensor compartment so easy hai anatomy ko study karna agar aap diagrams ke sath sath text ko match karke padhte jaye okay now ye to coronal section aapko dikha rahe the cut karke ki kaun kaun se muscles hain kidhar bones hain ye ab aap longitudinally dekh rahe ho obviously jo diagram aap dekh rahe hain isme the skin has been removed और स्किन के बाद जाहिर सुपरफिशियल फेशिया डीप फेशिया या हटा के सो नॉट यूर लुकिंग एट दी मसल्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन दी फोर आर्म कंपार्टमेंट एंटीरियरली यू सी ब्रेक यू रेडियालिस उसको भी कट किया हुआ है अंदर यू आर लुकिंग एट अ बिग रेडियल आर्टरी और पीछे वो अल्नर आर्टरी जा रही है एंड द मसल्स ओवर दी अल्नर आर्टरी आर फ्लेक्सर कार्पाई रेडियालिस पालमेरिस लॉन्गस फ्लेक्सर कार्पाई अल्नारिस सो लुक एट द डायग्राम ट्राई रिमेंबर दैम एंड लुक एट दी ओरिएंटेशन सो द रेडियल आर्टरी इज गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द लेटरल साइड द मीडियम द अल्नर आर्टरी इज गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द मीडियल साइड राइट एंड ऑब्वियसली ये अल्नर आर्टरी जा रही है तो इसके साथ जो नर्व होगी वो अल्नर नर्व होगी ये रेडियल आर्टरी जा रही है तो इसके साथ ब्रांचेज ऑफ द रेडियल नर्व है एंड देन द रेडियल आर्टरी एक्चुअली गोज इन टू दी एनाटमिकल स्टफ बॉक्स एंड गो चेंज द डायरेक्शन हाउ एवर द अल्नर आर्टरी हैज अ रूट दैट यू सी इज एंट्रिंग इन टू द रिस्ट रीजन एंड देन द पाम रीजन सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डायग्राम स्पेंड सम टाइम विद द डायग्राम try to locate the muscles nerves and the arteries now here what we have done is uh, what we are looking at is a few more muscles cut so for example here the flexor carpi radialis is also cut so for example here the pronator teres muscle is also cut यहाँ पे हम ये पूरे पूरे देख रहे थे ना फ्लेक्सर कार्पाइ रेडियालिस ये पूरा मसल दिख रहा है और सारे मसल्स यहाँ मौजूद हैं बट यहाँ पे वो मसल कट करके फर्दर अंदर आपको दिखा रहे हैं कि और कौन कौन से मसल्स मौजूद हैं और डिफरेंट प्लेन्स बेसिकली आपको दिखाए जा रहे हैं सो दिस इज वेरी हाई ईल टू स्पेंड सम टाइम ओवर दीज एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके एंड यू सी हेयर यहाँ पे ब्रेक्यू रेडियालिस को भी कट कर दिया तो पूरी रेडियल आर्टरी आपको नजर आ रही है or along with the branches of the nerves and in the center you also see the median nerve here uh, you in the next diagram perhaps they will cut it further mazid muscles cut diye so now you can have a complete route of the ulnar artery you see the ulnar artery is completely visible now because they have cut pronator quadratus they have cut a lot of muscles they have cut pronator teres they have cut flexor digitorum superficialis ab jo piche muscles nazar aa rahe hain what you can see is flexor digitorum profundus muscle dikh raha hai you can also see flexor pollicis longus aur inke upar ye arteries aur nerves move kar rahi hain so again spend time on the diagrams try to remember them is bit ka kaam yaad rakhne se aur aapki yaadaash se iska taluk hai Uh, if you spend good few minutes on this diagram and try to locate ki okay what i'm looking at is this is the lateral side because here is thumb this is the medial side and i'm looking at the forearm so on the lateral side these are the muscles present on the medial side these are the muscles present this is how the artery is running between this and this muscle all you have to do it yourself ye main aapko samjha sakta hu padhne ka tarika bata sakta hu yaad aap hi nahi karna hai obviously okay now this is another diagram which is now showing you not the anterior but the posterior compartment so this is the extensor surface of your forearm and on the extensor surface there are some bony subcutaneous areas such as the olecranon process and the lateral epicondyle 
uh, these are the bony places but then there are a lot of muscles so here you will have largely extensor muscles as you can see we have extensor carpi ulnaris extensor digiti minimi extensor digitorum these are all the external muscles extensor extensor so zahir posterior side pe hai back side pe hai iska kaam extension of the wrist hai and extension of the fingers hai that's by and large the job of the extensor side ab agar extensor side ke superficial muscles ko kaat diya jaye then what you see is the back side ki arteries or nerves which are here so you see there is a deep branch of the radial nerve and the posterior interosseous artery and this supply the back side right and then we know that uh, uh, there are so many um, plexiform structures so for example Uh, the radial artery enters onto the back side ye maine aapko is diagram mein bataya bhi tha yahan par if you look at the ventral side pe ek diagram thi jisme i told you okay this is here this is the radial artery right it goes back and from here it then enters into the anatomical snuff box or wahan se phir it enters into the plexus here you see the radial artery entering here and then the radial artery is contributing to the uh this complete beautiful network of blood supply so radial artery is coming from the anterior compartment entering here okay it's very very important thing to understand so basically what i'm trying to tell you ke aapko har region mein uh and this is simple guys i mean spend half an hour on the diagrams and you'll master it but aapko padhne ka tarika pata hona chahiye you should know ke aap forearm par hai to forearm ka region uska coronal plane planes hain kya kya posterior compartment anterior and lateral compartment and then unke muscles unki nerves unki um the arterial supply obviously uski venous drainage all these you have to learn these by looking at the diagrams so if you know and understand the art of understanding the diagrams for anatomy uh, you are good to go okay so we'll start discussing the next uh, region which would be wrist region in the next video take care of yourself